Hi there, it's Kathy here. How are you today? What I wanted to talk about today on this live stream is how to reframe those difficult experiences that you might be going through uh, to be able to move through them faster and doing that by asking powerful questions. So, I'll, and I'll show you a little bit about what, what's been going on for me because uh, I had quite a big, um, uh, a bit of a shock yesterday when I discovered that my tenancy agreement on my beautiful little flat where I live in uh, northwest, well, Hertfordshire, just outside of northwest London, um, it's my little sanctuary, my haven, and they're not going to renew my tenancy agreement. And I just got that like sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? So that immediately my fear kind of rushes in and it affects my energy and my emotions. But um, something good has turned out from this. So anyway, I'm Kathy. I'm a transformation coach. I'm a spiritual teacher and healer. And I work with spiritual go-getters who really love pushing the boundaries of possibility and helping them move past those invisible walls that stand between them and the abundance and the love and the freedom and the happiness and the joy that they desire and deserve. So, so what happened for me was, um, so I went to bed last night thinking, okay, I, I know, or I believe that nothing happens, uh, as a coincidence. And I've been telling myself a mantra for a long time of things are always working out for me. Something in this is a blessing. And so it helps me to stay in a really positive frame of mind and just be quite curious about, okay, what is this that the universe has brought me? And, um, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see, uh, why it had come now at the, at the beginning. And, uh, originally, you know, when I first read it from my estate agent that, um, it wasn't going to be renewed. I had resistance to this because it's like, well, okay, I've not planned anywhere to move to. There's nowhere that I would rather be right now than here. So I, I just hadn't uh, given it any consent. And I was thinking, okay, so well, maybe there is something in the pipeline that um, the universe wants wants me to experience. And then I started thinking about, well, okay, I have been asking for a lot of things to change. So maybe this is part of the change and um, that I need to not be fixed where I am in order for uh, the change to take place. So I went to bed feeling calmer and uh, just sort of like positive that, oh, okay, this could be a really good thing. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it could be a really good thing. Uh, and then this morning I had I got onto uh, a, a chat with a friend on, on Zoom and happened to tell her what was going on. And she happened to tell me then, well, do you want to come and house sit for me for six months in over winter in Portugal? <laughs> and I was thinking, well, no, I don't know about that. You know, so again, my resistance came and it was thinking, well, I don't really want to be that far away from my parents in case anything happens to them. And, you know, it was, thinking about my work and needing to be here and around the people that I, I work with but then uh, it turned out or like the thought dropped in of actually I've been saying to the universe for a while I really want to be on a writing retreat and I hadn't known how this was going to happen because I thought, well, I, it needs to be quite a long one where I can just be totally focused on my book because I get so distracted with work uh, that I find it really difficult to sit down and, and write. But what I have written, I, I really like it. And I know that there's, I, I downloaded um, the outline of a book. In fact, it's a series of books about three years ago and it won't leave me alone. It's something that just keeps tugging at me and tugging at me, and I have made a start on it, but um, it's, I just find it really hard to, to really focus. And, I, and what I created for this was like a, a sort of a vision board, but I use it as my screensaver. So I've got all these pictures of women sitting in beautiful places overlooking valleys, uh, and they look like writing retreats, and um, 
And then I was showing, I screen shared this with my friend this morning and she's like, that's Portugal. <laughs> so maybe this is what this change is, is happening for. And the universe has given me a kick and said, right, we're going to make it happen for you because, um, you know, this is what you've been asking for. So I don't know that for sure yet. You know, I'm, I'm, I can, I know that I can get quite excited and just go, oh yes, that's it. That's, I'm, I'm going to go and do that. And then I'll um, take a big leap and I don't really think it through. So I'm just, there's no hurry. I've got time, but this, this is the kind of thing that can be happening for you too. When you're in a, something that appears to be something really bad or uncomfortable or just not what you want, it can be something that it can be that there's a real gift in it. That there's, if you re allow yourself to let go of resistance to what is, and also that you ask those kind of questions to the universe, you know. Um, what, so, what I was asking was, how how is this working out for me? How is this, um, what about this situation is perfect? Uh, what if I'm not wrong or what if this situation is not wrong and how is this situation serving my highest good? When you ask those kind of questions, you're activating part of the unconscious mind, which is called the servile mechanism. And what it's not about asking your asking in order to get an answer straight away, not from the conscious mind, it's from the unconscious mind. But when you ask these open ended questions, um, it's like it goes to work for us and it, it's, it starts hunting through, through your unconscious and it starts to sort of help you, it's, it helps you see things that you might have missed before. So, you know, you might notice a, it, it basically wants to find a solution. It, it wants to find closure because um, that's what makes it sort of feel safe in a way. It, if you ask it a question, it needs to find the answer. It's like a, a that closure is what gives it um, sort of sense of satisfaction, I suppose. And um, so it will keep looking and it will keep um, scanning. And of course, your unconscious mind has so much more power than your conscious mind. Um, so it might just notice something and pull it into your awareness that has always been there that you never noticed before. Um, and so basically, it doesn't stop until it's found a solution. And so this is what Einstein used to say, you know, that we, in order to find the um, breakthroughs, you need to be asking really great questions because this is the nature of our mind to find these answers. So ask yourself these these big open-ended questions and you'll find some amazing answers within yourself. And it's a, it's a good one to ask it before you go to bed because it allows your unconscious mind to sort of bring images up in dreams even or you just wake up in the morning you seem to know because it just drops in so if you can find a way to you know really let go of resisting change and um keep keep sort of if, if, like finding ways to feel comfortable with being uncomfortable ask these questions find a sort of open up to the possibility that there's a gift in here it's something to do with what i've been asking the universe for because the universe will always find a way to um you know you if you're asking for something that's outside of your comfort zone outside of your zone of experience in order for you to receive that gift your vibration has to be at a higher level and that means that all the programs that are denser heavier uh, lower all those vibrations they need to release somehow so the universe will bring you situations that will trigger you or will bring these old patterns up to your the surface of consciousness for you and as long as you don't release uh, resist them and they come up you you will release them and then your vibration rises and rises and then you become a match for what you're wanting to call into your life so if you can find some ways to release resistance and that can be through meditation it can be through doing healings it can be through just like getting out into nature doing what you can to empty your mind and again as i said like asking powerful questions and, and creating space for answers to drop in you will start to find things really pick up you'll find the momentum of the flow through your life will pick up and um those you know we've always got like the peaks and troughs and we can't always be riding high on the crest. We have to go into the lows as well. And there's as many gifts in those as there are 
in the highs so you know learning to accept all of it and not judge any of it or not put up resistance is a really powerful practice um the biggest enemy to that is is this through your mind so whatever you can do to calm your mind and manage your energy and stay open to possibility uh you can you know on the other side of anything that is difficult or challenging there is always something that's a gift that will make you feel amazing until until you then go for the next thing so that was just my experience of uh, that I wanted to share with you today I'd love to know if you have uh, if you're struggling with anything at the moment and you want any kind of like guidance or you know pop pop a question in the box or just share what you're um, experiencing and um, you know maybe, maybe there's something that I can offer to help you um, and you know ask if you want help with asking questions or something like that just uh, drop me a line if you want to if you think you want to take this work deeper and you actually want to make some really big changes over time then drop me a line and book in for a possibility call and let's see what's possible for you how how it is that you want to change your life what kind of things you anticipate being uh, in your way the th what things have you tried what haven't you tried and and you know what would make your life absolutely amazing to live because this is what we're here to do isn't it so um drop me a line and uh, i really look forward to speaking to you so that's it from me for today and i will see you next time bye